Okay, so it's four card, you pick with Dyadic Cross. I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So like I said, this will be the uh, four card oracle you pick with dyadic cross finish. So you have four cards that you can ask four questions to and uh, or, you know, no questions or a couple of questions. Uh, so think of that. Uh, maybe uh, take this time to get yourself uh, something to drink and settle down and consider what it is you want answers to with these four cards. I don't know. Uh, you heard me say it before. I like to think of it as looking out the door to see what the weather's like before I go out today. And maybe this will give you some insight into whatever might happen uh, this day. Or if you're at the end of your day, you might want to reflect on what's happened and say, oh, okay, now I understand. So um, see if that uh, applies. So this is one of my favorite decks, Golden Tarot by Cat Black, who's an Australian uh, artist. And this is uh, all digital here. Um, I love this box. I mean, look how special it is. And, and it's easy to get the stuff out and use it. I mean, it's like a little uh, presentation. There's no fumbling at all. So, except when I use it. Now, the booklet is pretty good, too. It's, Cat Black has written this, it seems like, and so there's this good explanation in the front as to her concept for the artwork, which is amazing. It's usually, it's about from the 12 to the 1500s, which she uses in here, which is like cut and paste digital artwork. And then in the back, it talks about her, and uh, she's a webmaster, an author, an artist, and she also, she actually lives in uh, Western Australia uh, with her cat, Ellie, by the way. So, and I love uh, my uh, tarot reader, Ellie uh, Dreams Down Under. So she'd be tickled to know this, I think. Uh, so anyway, let's look at the cards. Um, my other favorite uh, uh, reader, uh, Violetta, uses these cards exclusively. They're the only cards she'll use. So there you go. They're beautiful, though. And they're not hard to handle. They're a little slicky. And when they're new, they're very gilded on the edge. And then as you use them, of course, that starts wearing off, which is sad. But... Um, but they're beautiful, they're easy to read, they're right or white uh, iconography, and you can figure out what the card means without any uh, problem whatsoever. And I actually read that Cat Black, the artist, uh, got her first tarot cards when she was 15. So, you know, she's someone who designed it uh, with, uh, you know, practical knowledge uh, at hand, not just commissioned to do the art, I think. So, anyway, I love these. I hope this is interesting for some of you. Uh, to look at the different cards when I do this, and uh, it's a good way to mix them up. And uh, so there we go. We'll get this uh, game going here. Okay, so we'll get started. This is going to be um, Oracle Four cards, so we're going to pick one, two, three, four. It's probably a good idea to, you know, get settled in, uh, take a deep breath, and uh, maybe let it out slowly. Consider the questions that are important to you and line them up in your head and you'll know whether to choose one, two, three, or four. And after you have those laid out, we'll go back and do the diet across to just kind of get a little more meaning out of each one of those four cards. Okay, so I'm going to pick four cards. One, two, three, four. Okay, so these will be the four card oracles. So these are where you're going to say, what is it that you need some answers to? One, two, three, and four. Okay, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Remember, you can stop the tape. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so if you chose number one, then that is the seven of wands and the seven of wands is just like it shows you here this fellow's up on this cliff he doesn't really have to see the best footing he's got this one uh, uh action this one wand to fend off all these other actions or plans up against him so he's got a plan and he but it, this is a, a bit of a push here 
Okay, so that's the uh, signifier card. So if you got that card, I'm going to say that that is a it's a no card for you in this regard. And I just want to remember what I tell you. Okay, the second card, if that's what you chose, is the Queen of Swords. So you know, swords are uh, uh, truth and justice and rules and law can even be your health. And the Queen of Swords is, is pretty well in charge of her uh, her kingdom here. You know, what she says that carries an awful lot of weight. So this is a yes card if you got the number two card. Okay. Now if you chose number three, got the four of cups. You know, the four this is really a maybe card to me. The four of cups is is uh, cups of compassion and passion and emotion and hurt feelings or excitedness. And so we've got these uh, three cups here, and then one more is being uh, offered. And, um, you know, it's something that maybe something you're thinking about that maybe you should add to this or you shouldn't, or maybe something's coming your way that you're not sure if you can take advantage of it or not. But that's a uh, number three card, and that's uh, a maybe. Okay. And then if you chose number four, this is the Seven of Swords, and this is a no card. Seven of Swords is uh, deceit, deception. Uh, this person has uh, swords or rules, action, law, motion, uh, forward uh, uh, planning. Uh, could be health, but not really in this case because this uh, these the Seven of Swords is showing thievery or deceit. So this is a no card. Okay. So we had a no, yes, maybe, and then a no. Now we'll go back and get a little more uh, into those and see just what comes. So this is going to be the signifier card. We chose number one, the seven of wands. Really, uh, you know, fighting something off. Really trying to get organized and defend yourself. That you know, it looks like you have a chance here. That seven of wands always is hopeful. So I'm going to take six cards or five rather. So this will be one, two, three. Four and five. Okay. Leave this over here and see what is the challenge to this little uh, embatt embattled uh, situation. Okay. That was the no card. The challenge to this is justice. <laughs> so that's very interesting. So whatever is is making the hair stand up on the back of your neck, uh, it's being challenged because there's some justice that needs to happen here. And maybe you feel that way. Maybe somebody feels that way about you. But somehow these scales need to get balanced. And um, and so truth and uh, honor and the rules and law, that's what's going to help there. So there is an imbalance here. So the Seven of Wands is a challenge by justice. The base of this reading, then, is the Five of Cups. And the Five of Cups is, you know, looking over and saying, geez, okay, I'm, I'm missing all that. But look, if you look around, you've got plenty that you can still depend on. Just been a little devil on your shoulder. So you came into this with some amount of disappointment. Past of this reading is the Queen of Cups. And so this is loaded with compassion, emotion, you know, and a thoughtful way to really consider how to get through the situation. So you came in this with that good judgment, really. Uh, speaking of justice. And then the sky of this reading, we have the page of coins. And I always tell you that the page is a weak messenger, just the beginning of an idea. Coins are value, or can even be money. But uh, so, yeah, the page is, is, is bringing this into the court to say, what about this? What, what about this? So that's what we hope for, maybe to get some get something started. And the um, likely outcome of this, that, well, look, it should be fine. This is the four of wands. The wands are motion, movement, fire, uh, planning. Uh, this is a celebration. I always like to say that the four of wands is a celebration towards something bigger. And it even looks like there were several ways this can go in the future. You can go right up to up and through this this uh, uh, portal here onto something even better or off onto this beautiful party that's happening over here and through that portal. So it's, uh, I always like to say it's smaller celebrations towards uh, something um, else. Why didn't I pull the cards that I need? Uh, let's take them right now. The hopes and the fears of this is a page of wands. Okay, so again, uh, wands are plans. So this is just the beginnings of a plan, the idea of a plan. Do we even need a plan? Okay, so that's what now that's starting out, and then the likely outcome of this whole thing. Oh, I know what happens. I'm melted full of fuck Celtic cross. I just got inspired to keep going. So the page of coins again is uh, uh, you know an idea of some compassion. Could be a surprise in this for you. So it's interesting that we get all these pages uh, in this uh, reading, and uh, that is telling me that this is definitely something uh, getting ready to happen. So that no can, um, with consideration, uh, get to a uh, maybe, actually. Okay? I think I'll close it down. And we'll go on and look for the number two card, if that's what you chose. 
And the number two card is the Queen of Swords. Swords are justice, truth, can be health. Queen is pretty much in charge of that, so it's a positive situation. And this is a yes card. And so we'll get five more, just five more cards. I'm not going to do a full Celtic Cross on each of these. Um, five more cards to nail down this yes of this queen. Okay. This is one, two, three, four, five. And here we go. What is the challenge to this queen who is so much in charge of her emotions? Challenge to that ah, is the, the end of a cycle. Something uh, that's uh, getting ready to be finished, and then we have to start on to something else. So the base of this reading is the magician. And so this is having you know everything available to you possible to make this happen. And so you went into the situation uh, with this, even if you didn't realize it. You've always had, it's kind of like Judy Garland in, in The Wizard of Oz. You always had what you needed within you. The uh, back of this reading, the, the past of this reading, is the Six of Swords. Swords, again, are truth, justice, rules, law, could be health. And this is moving out of troubled water. So we came uh, into this from something that was a little more disturbing. And the sky of this reading is the Three of Wands long-term planning, really looking out into the future, knowing that, uh, you know, since we've got it, something else is going to start here, we're looking towards what that might be. And then the likely outcome of this whole thing with this page of coins is a great big offer of value. Okay, so this page is saying, okay, we have this to start with um, to move forward onto. So that's a nice, progressive, getting into the future, yes card. Okay, now if you chose number three, then we've got the Four of Cups. Four of Cups. The cups are passion and compassion, emotion. Uh, four of Cups is kind of not knowing if, if maybe we should go a certain way or uh, add um, another element to what we're doing, take an advice, uh, takes money even, or this Cups makes you think it's more some sort of an emotional situation. So, uh, uh, or even asking for that. So the self of this card is a maybe, you know, just not quite being sure about this potential other uh, element to add to whatever this is that you've got plenty of already. Okay. Okay. So the challenge to that, let me pull them all and get so ahead of myself. Two, three, four, and five. Okay. As a matter of fact, see, they will now be read in a different order if I take them right off the top. So the challenge to this um, hesitancy here is this Knight of Cups. So more cups, but the Knight is a man of action, okay? He's going to take this uh, this uh, offering of assistance or help or emotion or compassion and, uh, and, and move forward with it, make something happen with it. That's what the Knight does. So he's a challenge to uh, get you going in the right direction. And the base of this reading is the devil. So ill intentions, uh, maybe taking advantage of the situation that we had or not taking good care of ourselves. Uh, so this... Um, is the base of this. The past of this reading is the Two of Cups, which are the lovers. And so this is partnerships. Could be even an oath being taken here. It could be, a, it's going to be, I don't know if it's a new job unless you're in that sort of work that is a kind of an emotional thing, but it's a partnering of some sort. And then, but up in the sky of this is the Three of Swords, which is just, you know, the end. Something else is going to have to start here. We have to let go and understand that uh, all things do come to an end. And maybe in this case, it was for the better anyway. Um, and the likely outcome of this, uh, maybe uh, situation, is uh, temperance. So yeah, balancing the situation out. You know, having one foot on dry land and one foot uh, in the water, which represents emotion. Maybe take advice from our angels, and um, and so that may be um, just it tells you that you just want to be cautious and make the most careful decisions that you can on that issue. Okay, that's the third card. Fourth one, if that's what you chose, is the Seven of Swords. And the swords are truth, justice, rules, law, and um, it could even be health, but I, I don't often find that's the case. The Seven of Swords is sort of an abuse of that, uh, some thievery. Uh, it could be you that was this person that took advantage of this situation or someone else uh, against you. So let's see what five cards are going to better define this no card. One two, three, four, and then this is five right there, okay? 
done with those cards. And so the Seven of Swords, really an abuse, a theft. And it's challenged by feeling, um, you know, bound up, feeling in, in, in less empowered, trapped. When in fact, you, you can, there is a way out of here. You just have to really apply yourself to understand how to go about that. The base of this reading then is the Five of Wands and just pointless um, confusion or, or a mixed up situation or, or an argument uh, that's uh, just not useful towards getting a resolution. The past of this is then the Hierophant, which is in fact rules, law, justice. Uh, there's a way to go about this thing. That's what the Hierophant is. There's a structure around this and usually there's a structure about most of the things that are important the five of this reading then is in fact justice which is telling us that there you know we can shoot for a balance and and do this in a way where everybody gets what they want and then the likely outcome of this is just like a magician and i love it when the cards repeat like these cards have been doing just like a magician something can uh, pop out of this you're going to be able to uh, pull something out of this if, if, if you understand this restriction and, and don't panic about it, if you overlook the confusion, if you consider the rules, if you aim for justice, you know, there's, there is a way to get out of it. You just have to make the right choice. And you know what the right choice is. We always do. It's the right thing to do. And where our politicians can't figure that out, I don't know. But anyway, so those are the four cards that we had today. I hope something there worked out. Okay, so that's what we got today. I hope that was helpful to you. And uh, if not, you know, uh, think of it later. It may come, come to be something that's important to you. Uh, it may be a message for someone that you know or someone that you work with or just uh, bring out a, an issue, issue that maybe you're not looking at very intensely. Or it might not be for you at all. So just leave it down and, uh, and forget about it. Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now.